Hello everyone. I want to very welcome you to the session. I am very glad that so much of you came. It is a really big thing that we'll speak about today, I know. Uh, and so at first, uh, could you please raise your hands for me if you can hear me? So, for those who, who cannot hear me or see me, uh, I would like to, to say that this session is recorded, so I will put it into YouTube and uh, I will share the link with you and you will be able to review it at any time you, you will be able to do that. And if you have any question, guys, just write it into chat box in, in go to webinar dialog box and I will answer them in, in the end of the session. So, that's me. And I want to introduce myself a little bit. I'm, uh, my name is Denis Gudauchus, and you can call me Dennis, as, a, uh, as it's the, the same name in Lithuanian, uh, and it's easier for foreigners for to, to pronounce it. I am an application engineer and project manager at AJCAD, and today I'm going to show you something that will change the work with Revit for structural engineers forever. So, why we build Trust Plus? Uh, issues with structural trusses is in common knowledge to all Revit users, and it is a wonderful platform. We and more than half of AEC professionals adore it. Modifications of trusses in Revit are pretty complicated or sometimes not possible. Our main goal is to ensure that the experience uh, for Revit users was the best. So as developers, we seek to make pro products that would fully exploit the capabilities of this incredible platform. Think of that this way. Revit is a pretty remarkable base, so we try to push the work with it to the limits of the hardware. That is correct, hardware. Uh, that is the only limitation where we seek to not over-automate the process because, um, because the hardware is a little be behind uh, the software de development. So uh, sometimes uh, there, there's a lot of issues with, with uh, over-automation. So, so we have this base and we have the specialists uh, who work with Revit. So we take this part and analyze it. And uh, that's how our solutions uh, arise. And <clears throat> what problems, what limitations uh, has the, the, uh, these engineers? And we tune it. So... So how the so 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 that's how our products are are made. You can see that uh, there's a little a little bit different um, font sizes over here, and that means that uh, some of these tools uh, products are a really big thing. Uh, some of them are uh, a little bit smaller. Uh, but uh, you should definitely check out check out some of them, uh, which I this is like a suggestion to you uh, what to look for. And so we try to make Revit that look like something like this. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to Revit now, and I have a. This, this small project over here is like a talisman, talisman of ours. Um, you can see that um, the roof uh, covers almost all situations in, uh, in, roof, in roof framing. So we have a tab in uh, Revit ribbon on the top. So we'll click that and we have Trust plus RT over here. So you can see that uh, this is made. This is made with a nice categorized menu. Uh, basically, it covers the uh, the phases of your work. 
with Trust Plus RT. So at first you make some configurations to your Trust systems. Uh, then you insert the Trust system to your model. And then you configure the, the trusses, the, the one by one, if you want. But it's, it's made automatically, so if, you, if there's some particular need, so you can modify them at, at, at any time. And the last one is your workshop drawings. And you can sort trusses, sort trust members. I will explain about it very, very soon. So let's tr let, let's start with comparing it a little bit with Trust Plus. So uh, the the work with it, some of you are familiar with it, uh, didn't change uh, didn't change in uh, from the user experience. Um, well, uh, some of parts are uh, modified by uh, our, uh, by the by the wish list that we built with, with our clients and uh, you would you will see that it's uh, very fine-tuned and it had a, a big jumbo menu that didn't fit to some of the of the screens of our clients so we we decided that we we should make something different something more user-friendly so now uh, at first you you should load your trust types I did it already, and uh, so we would save some time because it's just a, not a technical issue over here. And you would uh, go through uh, database manager, which allows you to review your database of trusses, create new ones, uh, and assign the uh, framing members for for your trusses. So. Next is as you define define your types of trusses, you you would like to build your systems over here. That's uh, that's the most automated part, and uh, this has uh, uh, some common common uh, common trust system types. Uh, so I will show you how it works. It works uh, really good and. I will show you how, how it is. So, and uh, the next thing is that you can design your trusses independently. So, as you have uh, some some uh, some trust types, you can modify them. You can assign uh, the properties for working with all of the pro projects. So, you can update all the trusses uh, from roof connections and you can either choose to cope your trusses or you or you want to cut it cut them uh, if you want to attach your trusses to top faces or to bottom faces uh, in this situation uh, we will um, connect our trusses to the bottom of the of the of the on the bottom of the face of the roof and uh, you can select uh, different default trust types what it does, we have two types. It's not written here, but you will see that this means that it's, it's the wood trust. You can see that in type comments over here. And this one is steel truss. And you can configure your truss ends, uh, how you, you would like to, to cut them. And as you prepare everything, you you just go OK. And you change uh, I will change the, um, the default trust types as I want to use the timber ones at the moment. So now I will select the roof. It's the basic roof and uh, the generic uh, from Revit template, and I will go to Trust System menu and select the Insert Trust System Grid. And what it does, it's just a template for your Trust System buildup. So you can you can see 
how your uh, trust system will look like in a matter of seconds. Generation of trust system uh, takes about a minute, so you would like, uh, you really like to, to see how it looks like before you generate all your trusses. So as I selected, uh, there was, uh, I will show you in a second uh, because I didn't mention it, um, there was a model lines uh, which I've selected, uh, which were drawn by Trust Plus RT. And now um, I can modify the properties of my trust system. It suggested me that I would like, uh, you would like to use the hip end trust system. You can select if you want to use a steel, steel type, or you can use the the bigger one, I will go with that one. You can modify the trust spacing and all these parameters over here. So I will press OK. So that takes, as I said, a second. It takes a while because uh, I'm very overloaded with uh, the broadcast of this web webinar. So the trust system template is made. You can review your design. Uh, these lines correspond to the truss, trusses that will be inserted to, to the truss system. Now I would like that my, uh, my, my part, this part of the roof were uh, with valley, valley set grid. So I'll select this tr trust system grid and I'll go to modify trust system grid. And now uh, I have the opportunity, if I don't like something over here, I can um, define a different trust spacing. I can define if I want the two girders to, the two girder plies to be inserted. And I just want to unlock the, uh, the capability to, to put valid trusses in the system. So I will unlock that and I'll press OK. So the 3D grid will be modified. And I can insert, uh, insert the valid set grid now. And that's really fast. You can see uh, that's, that's really, really fast and you can evaluate your design of the trust system in a matter of seconds. So let's go to the fun part. Let's generate some trusses. So I will select the, the trust system grid over here and I will just press generate trusses. And it offers me uh, the types for trusses that I would like to use for this trust system. So uh, mostly it it offers the, the right ones. So you don't need to change anything in here mostly. But if you need to, something particular, you can do that at any time. And if I had some uh, some more types over here, I, I could choose that. And I'll press OK. So we'll see how quickly it's done. So now I'm using a pretty decent machine. It's not too fast. Uh, I can show you the parameters of it. So I will go to system. You can see that uh, it's Windows 8.1 uh, with all the updates the recent updates that, that that came out and you can see how the, how beautifully it builds up so the processor is uh, rather bad at the moment it's just a gaming computer for a thousand bucks and uh, if you'll have invest more in your processor you, you'll get much more better results so we tested 
at uh, some decent systems that uh, just to check for all of our customers to, to be capable of uh, working with uh, with our software. But I have a rather bigger amount of RAM because I, I work with uh, bigger project projects, so I need I need that, and that's it for the system. And uh, as I just told you, you can see that the, the framing of the trust system is almost done. And, how, and it took how much? Just a minute or something. That's amazing. So it works really much more faster than it did with Trust Plus. <clears throat> it works. It works five times faster than than Trust Plus, and it works um, uh, about twenty times faster than you would uh, work with plain Revit. So now um, I can just, as I modified my my Trust System grid uh, with inserting the two plies on the on the end of the roof, not not the roof, but uh, the part of the roof. So I would like to auto copy some of the common trusses over here. So it remembers just uh, how how long the the wall is, and it will insert uh, trusses as preferred, and it's all done automatically. I didn't have an opportunity to 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 to, so, to 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 show all of the roof done in a, in any of, uh, of presentations with Trust Plus, uh, but I have it now, so I'll try to do that. I'm showing it for the uh, second time. The first one was this morning. Uh, I think that's the morning. It's your time now, but I did presentation and I was amazed by that how how quickly it goes. So now I will modify this end over here. So I will select the model lines I told you about that is drawn on the end of the roof. Okay, so I need to select this one. I just switched the lines and I'll press OK. So it's just a different, uh, different type over here. So I'll press OK. Now I'll do the the same with a different end, and I will insert trust system grid. And now I will select the lines. Oh, I did it again. Let's try it this way. And I'll press OK. So, not going much in deep into how it's created, I will go uh, straightly to generating some trusses. So, now it all offers me the types I would like to use. You can see that I'll have the common trusses, drag rafters, and Gable and trusses. That's okay for me. And you can see that these pretty colorful lines over here. Yes, that's correct. It has a analytical model too built in. 
because we use the structural trusses of Revit and so that's why it is so quick and we truncated the the, the structural framings that we use in Trust Plus there was some issues there's a there's an article written by me about it and you can go and read it in tools for Revit dot uh, com there's a blog uh, where we put information about uh, about how uh, our tools incorporate in BIM processes so you should go and read about it there's a lot of a lot of uh, information not associated with with our tools there's there's uh, some common knowledge which you would like to to get from a blog and as we speak about it uh, the gable and trusses are done and now I will select these two common trusses and I will uh, auto copy them let's make it a little bit bigger let's say 800 and it calculates the distance between them and inserts by the defined defined lens it will make the smaller length in the middle as I've chosen okay it says that in this part roof is going upwards and it needs a different type of uh, of truss over here yes that's a setting issue that I didn't configure properly over there so I'll just press OK it's just an informational message just doesn't doesn't mean anything you can see that there's a small gap over there and it will insert by 800 to the end of this roof and that's amazing how fast it works Okay, I went through the through the part of the of the roof which didn't went a little bit slower. So <clears throat> now we have a all roof made up. Isn't that great? really great so now for the demonstration purposes I would frame two beams over here I can choose different types of beams that um, that are in project so I can define different spacing for it and we do that with the same over here And that's that's how quick it's done. And that's it. So you can clap now. And so next thing I want to show you is I'll go to analytical model and I have an analytical model model over here. So what I'll do next is just go to analyze, set some boundary boundary conditions. I will 
put some hosted loads on it. And if you are, if you use the extensions or Revit, you you want to go to the analysis part, select select the, the truss. I would use the static analysis of frames because it shows the moment diagrams. It's uh, more in-depth analysis. Okay, it asks me which can. Uh, which loads I want to use and here we go you can see the displacements and all the forces of the of your truss and that's that's uh, how you look your, for your design considerations if this this truss is okay for you or not so now, when we've done that, I'll select this truss over here. And I'll show you uh, one more great thing. I will go to the workshop drawings. I can calculate truss volume. I won't do that because that's uh, some smaller, smaller helper. I want to show you more exciting things. So. Now it sorts all the trusses in the project. You can see I have the 75 trusses and you can see how quickly it is. So you just gone through 70, 75 trusses and I will go through the all the truss members in the project. And they will have all have the, the unique names so you can use that for your uh, workshop drawings later and that's it so I'll select select the truss select the truss and I will see what more I can I can go to the workshop drawing configuration. Uh, tags will be uh, done a little bit later as I'll go to the assembly creation. So I will select the workshop drawings. You can define the, the template of yours uh, in this part of, uh, of our tool. You can save, uh, save as many as you want. Uh, as I don't have any any sheets uh, sheets in, 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 in this project, so I don't have uh, something for template to use. But I will get back to to this a little bit later, and I will show you how it works. As I as I select the the truss, I will go to to its properties, and I will set them mark for it where is it and for this I would offer you offer you the our tool called sort mark you can mark your elements by your defined standards and I will uh, tell you uh, a, a little secret about it uh, just in the end of the on this session so I will write for example, gable and truss. I'll press apply. And now I can uh, go to workshop drawings and create an assembly of it. So, and that's what cannot be done in a plate or Revit. You cannot create an assembly of it so I would you can see that all of the dimensions are over here and you can modify them like this I'm just going a little bit down so everything will fit
isn't that amazing so I will set a different different uh, scale of it let's say 1 by 50 okay uh, I will drag them a little bit over here and <clears throat> you will understand why I'm doing this in a second and I'll go to my sheet view I can make a bigger but I won't do that now that you can make a, a little bit smaller scale and you can insert all the all the information about your materials and part list of your truss you can modify as a as a common common quantities in, in Revit so you can go to the uh, and filter filter something out and you can define what information you want to show over here so now I will go to the to my 3d view I will select a different different truss I will define the mark common truss and now I will go to the workshop drawing configuration and now I can select the template for my next sheet view. So I'll just select the, the truss and I'll press create assembly for it. So Everything is ready as I did in the, the previous uh, for the previous trust. So that that's how quickly quickly is done, and that's not it. I have uh, something more to show you. I have some different groups over here, and these are. Uh, this will push the truss a T uh, to more that you can expect of it. So you can see that I have to find uh, some completely random, completely random uh, ceiling and completely uh, completely custom roof. And I will select select the lines over here. I will go to the trusses and. I will press create truss type for model lines. I will select the roof, and that's how much it takes just to build your own custom truss. So I will let's say I'll do like this over here, like this over here. I can do whatever I want over here. I can define uh, the thirds and the and, and the fourths of the truss. If I want, and I'll press OK. So now I will name it like so. I'll press OK. It will take a second to load. The computer is is a little bit loaded with the broadcast I'm doing, so it takes a little bit longer. And here we have, and here we have the completely custom truss. You can see that everything is aligned. The the copings and cuttings are made perfectly. So I can make the rather rather uh, simple trusses too like this so I will go with the half of this truss I will do some configuration like this one and I'll 
press OK. Here we go. Now I would like to show you more exciting things that the Plus RT are is capable to uh, of doing. So now, for example, um, I have two D two lines over here. I will go to Trust Design Settings a little bit, and I will just uncheck this checkbox because uh, it is a little bit quicker. You will see why. And now I will select the trusses and I will insert the uh, truss by selected model line. And now what we have here, we have a library of trusses that we have in a project. And we can use. We can either use metal trusses or wooden trusses. So I would like to go with the metal trusses, but I see that I, I, I'm, I'm not having uh, enough of the types I have. So for that we built a demo project and I will get back to it a little bit in a second and a little bit later and I will open other project and what we built into the Trust Plus RT is a wonderful thing. So now I will go to the Trust Plus RT demo project and I can select the same line over here and I can go to insert, insert Trust by selected model line and now what you can see I can select the different project, the demo project which comes with a purchase of uh, Trust Plus RT and I can select a lot of different types of trusses I can use. So for that, I would like to use uh, mono clean truss. So I will press OK, and it will load the family from other project, and it will insert it into uh, by my line, and will align to the roof. Uh, I, I will select. You can see how how quick it is. You you can uh, you can have a project besides where you have all the families, so you don't need to to overload the project with all the families that that might not be necessary for you, and that's a very great thing. So I'll do it with the, the same with a different with a different line. I will select this truss over here. And as I selected the roof, it knows which I'm which one I'm using now in the project, and it will do that automatically. So I'll just select these two. Auto copy. <clears throat> I'll go with 800. It's in millimeters, but we have uh, also we 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 also have uh, the Imperial System demo projects. We have Imperial System uh, truss types, and we have a lot of them. I will show you. So now you can see that I have the metal truss system over here. So, pretty exciting thing that I want to show you over here is that I will select the common double hull truss. I will insert it to this line, and it will automatically configure itself to the roof. Uh, the roof configuration that we have over here and if you want something so if you want to see something more I can 
array these by 600 millimeters and I want them to update from root and I would like to enter how much is it one two three four five six seven so uh, for example I will do six so it will be a little quicker So we have the six trusses over here. And they are and they are that they will be updated as the situation needs it to be, the configuration of the roof, and so on. So I can see that these are not coped because I unchecked the, the box because the, the coping is uh, a little bit long with the, uh, with the metal trusses. So just for demonstration, I would like to, 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 to do that. And I can cope them very quickly. So I will go to Trust Design Settings. I will I would like to cut them. Not to pull them, and I will select the truss over here, and now I can uh, I can update the truss from roof, so it will do everything that's defined, and that's that quick. I can select two of them or three if I want, or all of them, so that doesn't matter. That's nice, isn't it? So we we also have the little helper helpers in the project. So this one I didn't show you uh, at the start of this video uh, of this session because I didn't have any truss types loaded, and uh, as I have now, I can I can open it up. And I can see all of these, uh, all the trusses that is inserted to the project, and I can modify them. I can sort them. I can uh, define define the different parameters for it. I can select select all the parameters uh, of this roof. I can mark them by by uh, by some some name I want, and there's a lot of a lot, a lot of, of what you can do with with the, the modify elements uh, function in, in Trust Plus RT. So that's that's exciting. And now uh, I can what I can also do is just select. Let's say select this line over here. Let's go to trusses and let's press create section view from model line. And we'll jump straight to the to this section of of the line that I did so I can see uh, I can draw draw the lines that that I can use I for example um, I want my to trace my ceiling like this and now as I'll go over here I can select this line and I can create the trust type from model lines. That's that easy. I don't know if the configuration of the trust is okay, so I would, will skip that because I just drawn it by by an eye. What you can do with it, because I, I draw uh, draw the, the the line cut over here, which uh, didn't correspond with the with the roof correctly. I should draw only one, or just see that it uh, it will fit a little bit. So that's what you can do with Trust Plus RT. I want to round up a little bit. So we saw that 
Trust Plus RT is really fast and it is very versatile. You can create any crazy design that you want and uh, you can get a load, loads of trust types. So we have a lot of different 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 trust types over here. A lot of different configurations and what's what's the most most fun there's most fun in the creation of your own trusses. You can see we have a timber trusses over here. We have the different configurations of the trust system grid over here and these are modeled model 2 and we will also have the metal truss capability so we can make the custom trusses we can make the structural analysis of it uh, we can make automated workshop drawings and we have lots of help, helpers in, in, in Trust Plus RT. And it also works 20 times faster than plain Revit. And 5 times faster comparing with Trust Plus. So our company is called AG CAD. And we are call ourselves leaders and pioneers of Revit add-on development. Uh, this is not very humble, but... Uh, this is what we live each day, and uh, we try to, to, to bring the bring the best product to, to the market, and that our clients would be really happy, and that is really exciting. We develop our tools with a great deal of research that we do first. We cooperate with academia, state organizations, practitioners, and of course our clients. Uh, that helps us build the wish list. Um, which we consider the most important source for our development ideas. So tools are developed based on mathematical modeling, optimization algorithms, and design standards. We're also gold partners of Autodesk in a wide variety of areas, from software selling to training to add-on development for their products. So this is the our team core. And we operate since 1991, so we have a huge experience in this field. And we have departments in programming, project management, training, consulting, and sales. The main goal of AGA CAD is a lean design process for our customers. We look for MUDAS, which is a Japanese term for non-value adding work, and we look for these in day-to-day works of our customers and develop productivity and efficiency boosters for our clients that saves millions of dollars each year. So thank you for being here. We have some great time and uh, there's some time left so I will try to answer questions in a second. If some are any missed, I will try to answer them by email uh, personally. We can arrange a meeting, just write write an email uh, for me and uh, we'll arrange a meeting and I will answer all of your questions uh, in real time. So have a nice day and I hope to, to, to talk to you soon.